Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah, what's your name, sir? My name is Tawhidul Anwar Khan. Uh -huh. when, where are you from? I'm from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Okay. And uh, why are you here at the Stockholm? Well, my particular interest and my professional interest mm -hmm. have been in water. Mm -hmm. well, this is a great occasion. Mm -hmm. You know, there are two global occasions mm -hmm. that take place every now and then. One is the World Water Week and the other is World Water Forum, mm -hmm. where thousands and thousands of water professionals, experts and others, they gather and exchange ideas, learn from each other. Mm -hmm. So I'm particularly interested in coming over here and learn more. What is this uh, special area of focus in your work? Well, throughout my career, I'm basically a water resources engineer. But my career, I have been working on the transboundary water issues. Mm -hmm. Between Bangladesh, India, Nepal, this is subcontinent. Bhutan and China too. Bhutan and China too. So, what what is the message that you would give to what you're learning from those uh, working from this from your experience, and what's the message that you would like to give to people who have come here? If I am going to narrate my experience, it will take a lot of time. But let me. What I have learned over the last thirty years is that the waters of the transboundary rivers are very precious. They are the cardinal resource. They should be used to unite the people of all the co-basin countries, not to divide them, number mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Number two, the waters of any transboundary river should not be considered as ours or theirs. It should be considered as everybody's. However complicated or complex situations may appear in terms of sharing and management of the transboundary waters, don't get disheartened. What I have learned Two simple things are needed. It's very simplistic, but I have learned, and I believe through, from my heart, that two simple things are needed. One is a change of mindset in terms of the politicians and th those who matter. And number three is the political will on the part of the governments and the politicians. If that is there, there is no problem. If we don't still address on these basic issues, we are in for a lot of trouble in the future. You see, <coughs> because it may remain as a great cause of irritant between the friendly relations between the Gobi Sin countries and others. Why should we allow that? Let us all work together. There is no alternative to cooperation in the use and management of transboundary waters. Thank you, sir.